70 percent of the world's maple syrup comes from <laughs> quebec and i like that a lot i mean it all comes from sort of the northeastern uh north american sort of region uh the definition of maple syrup is also usually like very restrictive there are very like tight guidelines that i'll go into here in a little bit that canada and the the and america what the usda the food and drug administration or whatever have like gotten together across country collabo on like determining what maple syrup is what grade it yeah. can be you know i feel like around these parts you hear about vermont a lot when it comes oh to yeah vermont syrup. i mean vermont's big in the game yeah. uh but in order for something to be called maple syrup obviously it has to be almost entirely made from maple sap from maple trees and there's a few different maple like tree specimens that you can get that good syrup from there's other types of syrups like you can get a uh, walnut tree syrup you can get palm tree syrup but i don't know what those taste like they may be very very good maple sap has like an extremely high sugar concentrate compared to other saps and so that is why it gets the flavor that it has uh and also there's like various i i didn't write down the exact kinds but there's different types of maple trees and certain ones have like certain production schedules that can change the flavor of them uh and that that is that is where you get this sort of different mm. The different notes, the different, uh, the different tones. This one has tobacco, a rich tobacco <laughs> uh, scent. Uh, indigenous communities in, in Northeastern North America were the first to make uh, maple syrup and maple sugar. And though, like, the process has become, obviously, much more industrialized since then, like, it hasn't actually changed all that much. The basics are you tap a maple tree. And the maple tree's got to be between 30 and 40 years old in order to start, like, producing that good sap. But once it is making that sap, it can produce a lot of it. Uh, it can make, what is it, up to 12 liters per day. Wow. That's like a That's like a juicy boy. When you tap on them juicy boys and it just, like, comes <laughs> douching out, it's like, wow, this is, this is a juicy boy. And then can, they can keep making that good syrup until they're well over 100 years old. So you get once you get a good tree, once you get that investment— you're you're on the roller coaster, baby, for a good 60, 70 years That's of delicious incredible. maple syrup production. Uh, you get the sap, right? And you boil it down without adding anything. No chemicals, nothing else like goes into the process because it is an extremely finicky process, maple syrup production. Uh, you boil it down and you have to concentrate it down like pretty dramatically depending on the season and the type of tree that you get it from. Uh, you are boiling it down from a 20 to one to a 50 to one ratio. So 50 parts of the sap that you get, you concentrate down to one part and that oh. is the maple syrup. And there's not really a whole lot else to it than that. You have to uh, filter it out to get the uh, sugar sand. There's a, like a chemical term for it. But uh, the, this like gritty substance in the syrup, you have to like filter it to get that out. But then that's basically syrup. That's basically it. Uh, you have to be so careful, though, because if you boil it too much or at too high a heat, or just like you get some part of the preparation process wrong, it crystallizes, and in like the flash of a second, like it's ruined. Uh, if you don't reduce it enough, it can be super liquidy. And if it's too liquidy, obviously the consistency and, and texture is on, but also it will spoil very, very, very fast oh. because of the liquid that's in it. Um, there's also like the same things. I don't know if you've ever like been involved in any sort of like beer home brewing process before, but it's like very like breaking bad. Like there's a lot of different points of failure along the way that can happen because, uh, you know, you're messing with fermentation. You're using a lot of different sort of metallic equipment that can sort of impart a metallic taste into the beer or whatever it is that you're making. If you do it the wrong way, the same is true of, of syrup. Uh, in this case, like you don't want it to ferment any sort of like the smallest sort of micro organic like flaw in the syrup uh, that introduces fermentation into the process is just like that, that batch is scooked that, that makes batch sense, is no good syrup lasts forever like syrup is one of those things that you can like keep for like a year and it is fine exactly yeah and also like if you get the sap from a tree at the wrong part in the life cycle to get the sap from it for instance if the tree has started to bud then it's like it Whoa. it puts a weird stink on the flavor that is not necessarily pleasant uh, so like it is an extremely finicky process and the way that they grade it sort of reflects that there are three grades of maple syrup uh, that again, uh, America and Canada, boom, got together and said, let's, let's make this shit. 
top tier. Grade A is the best you can get. That's got the golden color and delicate taste, amber color and rich taste, a dark color and robust taste, or a very dark color and a strong taste. Any of those can be grade A. Any difference in the color, the taste, not being compatible, the texture being off in some way, then it gets bumped down to processing grade. I don't know what that means. I think it means like we're going to send you back to the lab or we can use you as a cooking ingredient and certain other things. It's like a cooking wine. The grade below that, substandard. Get that get that shit out of you. I wouldn't put substandard syrup on my worst enemy's waffles. This makes me want to look at those like Mrs. Butterworth situations to see kind of like where they're where they're scoring at, you know? I mean, if it's being sold in the US, it's grade A. If it was being sold in the US or Canada, like most of the like uh uh like commercially available products, that's yeah. grade A. They're not gonna sell. They're I not just gonna wonder, sell you grade like, B if substandard. There's... You know, it's kind of like cheese food if there is like maple syrup, but instead it's called like, like tree drink. And that oh, way they get around the fun. like the scoring. Maybe. You know, tree if you drink. look closely at your, at your off brand syrup. Yeah. Cover, cover your French toast and tree drink. <laughs> uh, also the terminology for like uh, the manufacturing like farms where, uh, syrup is made is very good. I had heard the term, I think probably from Riverdale, uh, Sugar Shack. That's where the actual boiling takes place. And it's a building with like a specific sort of oh, arched roof design to like nice. lower condensation or whatever. Uh, maple farms are called sugar bushes. That's very strong oh, to me. Oh, that's adorable. That's very powerful. Uh, yeah, that's it. 